Hi, we're going to talk a little bit about chronograph watches. A chronograph watch is a, a watch that has a separate timing device. You can use it to time running or cooking or whatever you want. And in specifically, we're going to talk about citizen chronograph movements. So let's take a look at our expedition. This is our model 223, and this has the Citizen Miyota OS25 movement. And uh, you'll notice uh, when you come in tight, you'll actually see that the stop center second hand, the big sweep over here, it's not directly at 12 o'clock straight up. And what happens is a lot of times people will call us up and say, hey, my watch is defective. It doesn't reset to zero. Well, let's show you, first of all, it's not defective. And many times when you're dealing with high-end quartz chronograph movements, and Citizen Miotas are some of the finest in the world, uh, this will be very common. It'll come out of the box this way. You're going to have to recalibrate that yourself. So first, let's take a look at what happens when it's not recalibrated. To activate the chronograph, you're going to want to push the top pusher right here. So I'm going to use my thumb, and I'm going to activate it. And the first thing that you might notice is down there at the 6 o'clock position, you'll see that the, this actually has a 20th of a second indication on this particular model. It's flying around. But you'll see the stop center second hand is now at 10 and 11 and 12. Okay, let's go ahead and stop it now with the top pusher. Okay, and then we're going to reset it with the bottom pusher. And you'll notice on the reset, it didn't set exactly to 12. And that's what causes some people to think it's defective. It's not defective. You're going to have to recalibrate this yourself. And the Citizen Miotas uh, movements, like this one, have made it very, very easy to do so. The first thing you have to do is pull the crown out. Now, this is the crown. Now, on this particular model, this has a, a crown cover, a bridge with a locking cover. So what you want to do is you want to open up the cover on this one. Most of the watches aren't going to have that. And then you want to pull the crown out to its outermost position, like that. And with Citizens, that's all you have to do. Then use your top pusher to recalibrate that sweep center second hand. So watch it as I give it one click at a time. One, there it is, two, and we'll go one more. And now it's recalibrated right to 12. So the next thing you want to do is push your crown back in. Let's close up the cover. And let's give it a test. Let's go ahead here. I'm going to get all that glare off of there. And I'm going to go ahead and activate the chronograph. And you see the 20th of a second indication flying around at the bottom. And of course, there's your stop center second hand doing your timing for the watch. We're almost up to 10 seconds there. And there's 11. Let's go ahead and stop it right there. And now let's reset it with the bottom pusher. And it should bang right there, stop at 12 o'clock. You see that? So you see, it's not defective at all. It really is quite simple to recalibrate that on your own. We hope this helps.